class. If you choose to do this exercise, you're going to find some things uh, that you're happy about that are, in fact, the way you want them to be. Welcome to AMC. My name is Dr. Bill Creva, and I would like to spend some time talking with you today about a subject that is near and dear to my heart, and that's mirror time. You know, William Shakespeare wrote at one point in one of his plays that the eyes are the windows to the soul. And I think you would agree with me that that's not just a flourish of words that he wrote, but it's based upon the fact that when we interact with other people, we get tremendous insight as to what is going on with those folks when we look into their eyes, right? We learn more about their motivations and what's really truly going on uh, when we get the opportunity to look into the eyes. But the question has to be asked, what happens when you look into your own eyes? And it's possible to do that by looking in a mirror, by taking time to look at yourself through your eyes and see what you see. And this little exercise can be extremely powerful and can be life-changing. When I first joined AMC, now aligned, um, I actually went through an exercise at my first summit, my first boot camp, where we did mirror time. We took an extended amount of time and uh, looked into the windows of our souls using small mirrors. And it was transformational for me because in the process, I saw some things inside of me that were not as I wanted them to be. I was being honest with myself. I accepted that that was in fact there, but I also knew after the exercise that I needed to do some things to change that. I needed to take action to get rid of the things that I didn't want to see in there that needed to be changed. And I started my journey at that point. By the way, I also found some things in there that were fantastic, that I was very happy to see. And you will too, I promise. If you choose to do this exercise, you're going to find some things uh, that you're happy about that are in fact the way you want them to be. So what's the point here? When you do this mirror exercise, you have the opportunity to, number one, gain insights on areas that need to be changed in your life that you can now take action to correct. But also, I think you'd agree with me that all of us, each one of us, has a purpose. And we know that God does not give us a purpose without equipping us for, with the things that we need in order to accomplish that purpose. And in taking time to look into the mirror, into those windows of the soul, you can get insight into and even see what your purpose is at this particular stage in your life's journey. And more to the point, you can also get insight as to what are the next steps that you need to take. God doesn't show us the whole path, does he? He doesn't show us all the way to the goal, but he does shine the light on the path one step at a time. And in spending time in front of the mirror, you can gain insight as to where you're going and what the next step is that you need to take. And also, it can help keep you on the path so you don't take the wrong turn and end up lost on your journey. So, very, very powerful. Also, um, you may well find when you take time to look in the mirror that things have been put on you by other people that you didn't put there that aren't helping you in your journey. We know that Dr. Burt Batwell, who was a very good friend of Dr. Owens years ago, would spend time looking into the windows of the soul when his practice would start to slow down. And he was specifically looking for things that had been put on him. We all have patients that come into our offices, not doing it on purpose, who bring junk, who bring garbage with them, and they dump it on our staff and they dump it on us. And we may not even think too much about the impact because we're moving on to the next patient, but it's still there. And that junk can pile up and start to be form, form a roadblock that keeps us from getting where we want to go. So using this tool to identify those things and get them cleared out can be very helpful as well. So how do you do this exercise? First step, be honest with yourself. When you go in front of that mirror, the only thing that's there is you. The mirror is not judgmental. The mirror does not tell you what should be or not be. All it does is reflect back what you already have inside of you. So be honest with yourself. Be open to seeing what you see and accepting of what you see. Because if you are, then you're going to be able to take the action you need to correct the things that need to be corrected or to celebrate the things that you see in there that are fantastic. 
You're going to look into the mirror. I don't care what mirror you look into. Focusing specifically on your eyes. And this isn't a quick glance. This is five minutes. This is 10 minutes of looking into those windows of the soul. It's quiet. Nobody else around. No disturbances. No background noise. Nothing. It's just you and yourself there. When you're done, write down immediately the insights that you got from that experience before you lose them because they'll have a tendency to get away. Don't share this with anybody. This is between you and yourself, all right? So this is personal just for you. I promise you the first time you do this exercise, if you do it properly, if you do it with an open mind, you're going to find some things. You're gonna be amazed at what you see and what you learn. But then this becomes a habit. This is something that you should do every single day going forward. Spend a little bit of time in front of that mirror just to check and see what's going on before you start your day. Okay? If you do this, I promise you this little technique will transform your life and get you where you want to go. So I hope you got something out of this. I hope you find this beneficial. If you like this content, certainly would uh, encourage you to subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel. There's also links below this video that you can click on for additional information. And if you're interested in learning more about how AMC may be able to help you and your practice success, please feel free to reach out to us at amcfamily.com. That's amcfamily.com. Uh, we would be very happy to hear from you and promise you we'll get back to you and give you any information you need to determine if AMC might be the best fit to help you go forward with your practice as well. I hope this has blessed you and I hope you have a fantastic day.